Hi everyone, we are discussing different methods of calculating purchase consideration under the amalgamation chapter. In corporate accounting, now we are going through amalgamation chapter and today we are going to discuss the various methods for calculating PC, that is purchase consideration. In the previous video, we have already discussed one of the important methods for calculating PC, that is net asset method. And here we are going to discuss one of another important method, that is net payment method. Before coming into the point, I would like to remember you all that is what is PC that is purchase consideration. I have written over the meaning over here just for a recalling purpose. So just go through it. See here, here company A is getting absorbed by company B limited. So company A is called transfer company, venture company, selling company or old company, right? And company B is taking over the business of A limited. So company B is called transfer company, vendi company, purchasing company or new company. Here company B have to pay the purchase consideration to company A limited for taking over their business. Hope you recalled the concept that is a new formed company pay a certain consideration for taking over the business of amalgamating companies which is known as PC. Now let us see how to calculate purchase consideration according to net payment method. See the balance sheet of A limited. Here you are asked to find out the purchase consideration as per net payment method. So see the balance sheet liability side that is share capital 6000 equity share of rupees 100 each fully paid rupees 6 lakh 2007 percent preference shares of, of rupees 100 each fully paid up 2 lakh then general reserve 2 lakh 50 thousand 12 percent debentures 3 lakh then asset side uh, that is goodwill 70 thousand plan and machinery 4 lakh 60 thousand furniture and fittings 1 lakh 2 thousand stock 6 lakh 36 thousand debtors 1 lakh 84 thousand cash at bank 73 thousand then what are the additional informations given here see here b limited takes over the business of a limited so first uh, see the first adjustment that is debenture holders of a limited are discharged by b limited at a premium of 20 percentage by using 15 percentage on debenture so ignore the information because according to net payment method only the payment made to the shareholders only the payment made to the shareholders we need to consider right so here you have to consider only the payment made to shareholders that is either equity shareholders or preference shareholders debentures issued to debenture holders not to the shareholders so ignore the information and look at the adjustment second adjustment okay first adjustment is over is just ignore it and see the second adjustment that is purchase company agree to issue five equity shares for every two equity shares of a limited and the third one to pay rupees 20 per share in cash and to issue six preference shares of rupees 100 each in lieu of every five shares held in a limited okay then market value is given rupees 125 market value is given we have to take consideration of market value okay so first you have to calculate how many number of shares the purchasing company is going to issue as per the information in the problem for every two shares in the selling company see every two shares in the selling company purchasing company going to issue five shares so we have to find out what will be the number of shares purchasing company is going to issue look at the balance sheet liability side equity share capital how many number of shares in the selling company six thousand equity shares right that is equity share capital six lakh uh, rupees hundred each so six lakhs divided by hundred six thousand equity shares so the number of equity shares number of equity shares is 6000 then note the point for every two shares of selling company purchasing company decided to issue five shares now the selling company have how many shares 6000 shares with this information we can easily find out how many shares the purchasing company is going to issue simply cross multiply but yeah, payment to pre now we have to calculate the payment to preference share see adjustment number three that is to pay rupees 20 per share in cash okay cash payment rupees 20 per share to issue six preference shares of rupees 100 in lieu of every five shares held in a limited okay here market value is given rupees 125 market value is given we have to take into consideration market value right so the solution will be 
so the purchasing company here agreed to give cash of rupees 20 per share then how many preference shares 2000 so 2000 into 20 40000 apart from this purchasing company is going to issue six preference shares for every five shares six preference shares for every five shares in selling company so simply cross multiply 2000 into 6 by 5 that is 2400 then multiply it with the market value so the answer would be 3 lakh so this is the amount payable to preference shareholders so finally look at the solution equity shareholders rupees 15 lakh preference shareholders in the case of preference shareholders payment made to this shareholders in cash and preference shares right so 40000 in cash and in shares rupees 3 lakh so the total will be 18 lakh 40000 so purchase consideration and the answer is 18 lakh 40000 rupees